Hey, super guys, Purple Driven Live Sports, and I'm back here for some more NBA news. So, I already told you guys, I think, yesterday about Mike D'Antoni not, uh, he ended contract talks with the Houston Rockets. Now, I, I heard some more stuff about why he ended those, and I think it was, his his agent also was a big factor, was that there there are rumors that he, that it, that it was within $5 million was going to be uh, the average annual, annually year value, annually year value is going to be $5 million. What I heard actually was was that it's two and a half million, and the reason why this is a big deal is that most good coaches in the, in the league make five million dollars or above, and two and a half million, and, and it was going to go to five five million because of the uh, performance bo- bonuses, which was each round he makes and, and that he advances past, he he gets an annual year bonus. And I think he gets a win bonus too for like what fifty five games, I think. <laughs> So to me, that's a big factor, and them. I think just I like this move by by Houston. Here's why: because I think they want him to prove and show that he can win in Houston, and that this system actually works. Because me personally, I don't really believe in it too much. Because I don't think ISO ball and just all that pick and roll stuff works as the playoffs go down the line. So what they want to do is. Not only are they looking to retool, even though I heard things like from good analysts is that they should wait and see what rosters do like as in Golden State, a Toronto team, and see if you can run it back. Especially look at what, what Milwaukee does because as good as the team they are this year, they don't really have the cap space to bring everybody back. So that's going to be huge for them. But Houston's just looking to see what what Mike D'Antoni does this year. Because he's he's a good coach, I say he's a great regular season coach. But in the playoffs, he's just been a guy who can who gets the conference finals or conference semifinals, but his team gets knocked out because your style is too predictable. It's too easy to game plan against. And at the end of the day, as as great of a coach as you are, there are moments in a game where you have to be able to make adjustments. And if and if you have a, a game plan that's run off of ISO ball and you don't think you need to make adjustments because it's that simple, well, then you, you get what you see, which is a team that's going to get knocked out early and often in a system that is too predictable and too easy to game plan against. So, but I like what, but once again, I like what Houston's doing. And I think this is great for Mike D'Antoni as well, just to, this is, this is a contract year. So what am I going to do? It's like, think of it like this. Uh, the Dallas Cowboys, I don't like I don't like the Cowboys, by the way, but Dallas Cowboys and their coach, I think his name is Jason Garrett, are going by a year basis where this year is a proving year. It's his contract year. So I think they're kind of like Houston and Dallas are kind of the same where their coaches are, are pretty good. I wouldn't say Jason Garrett's that great, but he's he's not he's not bad. They're looking to see if their performance can elevate the team to a championship or at least the conference finals, conference finals win. So the closer you get to winning a championship or winning a championship, you'll see a contract extension or see the team build around that coach again. So I think that's going to do it for this video, though. So once again, Houston's not going to extend uh, Mike Dantone's contract to me. This is their, this is an evaluation year to see if he's really the right coach for James Harden for this team. I don't know what they're going to do to shake up the roster, but they don't have a lot of cap flexibility as it is. And moving a Chris Paul, moving a, a Clint Capella, Maybe getting some younger good pieces back draft picks could help them, especially in terms of free agency and, you know, rebuilding that bench because that bench is very thin. There's not many guys who can – they have guys who can hit the three, but defend is really – they only played like six, seven guys. So it's going to be – they they have to be able to incorporate different uh, lineups to me to be able to compete deep into the playoffs, and they don't have that. So that's really been their issue along with the Mike D'Antoni system, ISO ball. It's – He's got to improve. He's got to be able to make adjustments. That's that's my thing. So that's going to do it for this video. This is my breakdown on the Houston Rockets and their situation right now. Uh, they're not really, to me, in big trouble, but it's this is the year where they're kind of they're disappointed because they didn't beat Golden State without a Kevin Durant when they had the opportunity to do so. So that's where they're at right now. Thank you guys for listening and watching this video, and I will see you guys in my next video.